Hello, everyone, and it's great to be back on the stage after three years. We are AI Crowd, a community of more than 50,000 AI researchers all over the world who come together to solve real-world problems. For the uninitiated, the kind of problems we work on are where thousands of people all over the world they submit their AI models, which try to coordinate little trains in a simulated railway network to minimize delays. So it's a big problem. Then. Um, um, uh, people who submit their AI, mod AI models to look at images of food to predict what food items in there, so that you can come up with nutritional estimates of that. And this is being already used in medical cohorts. Or some collaborations with OpenAI and at NeurIPS, where people submit their reinforcement learning agents, which try to master multiple games all at the same time. So it's uh, uh, to address generalization and sample efficiency both at the same time in reinforcement learning or a collaboration with Amazon Prime Air, where we released 11 terabytes of drone imagery, where the task is, can you look at all this drone imagery and detect small objects in there? Like in the vast sky, one drone trying to find another drone, and both of them look uh, like dots to each other. Well, most of my talks focus on a lot of other such cool stuff that we kind of do in the community, and I encourage you to check it out on aicrowd.com. Today, we will talk about something else that we do not talk a lot publicly. Who are these people who are solving these problems? And what fraction of people who can solve these problems are actually solving these problems right now? Turns out, when you talk to many of uh, my friends, the perception is that to do AI, you need to spend a lot of your time staring at whiteboards with a lot of ugly mathematics. And that is apparently a big mental barrier for a lot of people. And not a lot of people, it's, I'm talking about 29 million people who identify as coders and web developers who still kind of have this mental barrier to actually jump and do hands-on AI. So we ask, what can we do for those, um, uh, those, uh, the rest of the 29 million people? So in 2020, in the pandem during the pandemic, we started this one experiment. What we started doing was, we started designing these little puzzles in-house. These are supposed to be small, bite-sized puzzles, and every month we dump a few of them. For example, can you look at a chessboard and just simply an image of a chessboard and say where all the pieces are? Or if I give you a little video of a chess game, can you transcribe that chess game? Or if I give you thousands of jumbled up jigsaw puzzles, can you assemble them back? Or um, a buffet of problems around image detection, or um, uh, yeah, image detection, image classification, or uh, some experiments with languages, where uh, in one case we even invented a language of our own and asked people to translate it back to English. Uh, but across all of them, there's one key is we always try to instill the confidence in anyone who just stumbled upon the page, including each one of you, that you can do it too. We spent a lot of time creating these resources on how to approach this problem with just a base solution. And people surprised us because they would go play with these base solutions, do a lot of amazing things with it, and come up with great results, and in the process end up learning about AI and have that first quick win to instill that confidence in them that they can do a lot more. So across many such experiments, the Blitz was born. So in the last 21 months, we designed 63 unique AI puzzles and kind of touched 3,700 participants. Now the problem is 3,700 is a number that is very far away from 29 million. So that's when we said, OK, let's try to do this seriously. So we came up with the design of Blitz, a community-led learning uh, setup. But the whole idea is of around the focus on these coders, these 29 million people who identify as coders and web developers. And we, instead of the traditional way of a lot of coursework and whatnot, we focus on hands-on real-world um, puzzles, which are bite-sized. And the idea is how can the community also help each other? And then finally, give everyone something to brag about. Every puzzle that they solve, can it actually be deployed as an app or a bunch of predictions that they can actually use? And across all these puzzles, can they actually also go ahead? Uh, can we also go ahead and ensure we create these expert solutions that can guide anyone who is trying to work on these problems? And along the way, you create an AI tribe which is genuinely interested in learning about AI and helping each other learn about AI. And when you are in this tribe and when you are in this whole process of learning, you end up also creating a little portfolio of many such puzzles with consistency that actually help you get a lot more confidence, uh, a lot more confidence of what your skills are right now, and also get a good expectation of where you want to get to. So we kind of started this whole model where, for the cost of 
less than a beer a month, you get one curated puzzle every fortnight, and well, a lot of expert solutions, code notebooks, and then finally, even for the uh, puzzles that you solve, you get some ML apps um, deployed for you, along with access to the community, and an excuse and the consistency to kind of build that stellar portfolio. And the money that you save from um, that one beer less a month is used to incentivize others in the community to come in and create more resources, helpful resources for others to help, and then um, also the other puzzles and whatnot. And we are launching on 17th of April, and we are also giving away free subscriptions for two months for all AMD 2022 att attendees. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mohanty. And how, how can one get that? Uh, the coordinators, I guess, Silva will be sending out an email oh, okay. to all the people who have <laughs> it accepted. Will, it will come in the email. inbox. Okay, yeah. good. Thanks very much. Thanks.